All right, so this is like probably the third time I've actually saw that term tanking pop up for the Miami Dolphins. To be quite honest with you, I really didn't exactly know what tanking actually meant. So you know what I did? I just went ahead and went on Google and looked for the best possible descriptive definition for tanking, which is is the best is the process of teams purposely playing poorly or rostering a bad team in order to improve their draft position now to be quite honest with you uh, as far as the whole Miami Dolphins thing tanking like this is all new to me like I told you because at least the Miami Dolphins when I sit down and watch them play they at least they they, they put up some type of effort to you know be competitive against teams they actually put up a fight now as far as this whole tanking thing I don't I literally do not believe in tanking I don't believe in tanking. Like, how I don't see how you can you can go out and tell your players, "Hey, look, we're not we're not really looking forward to playing well. Just go out there and just do whatever you want to do. We're trying to play for a play for, for a, a a great draft pick." That doesn't make no sense to me whatsoever. Like, I'm a very very competitive person. If I was going out, let's say if I was playing basketball with with four for four fat women, I'm expecting us to win. There is no freaking way we're going to lose. If we lose, I don't want to hit. There should be no excuses why we lost. We were winning that game regardless who was on that damn team. So with that being said, I expect the Miami Dolphins to sit back in 2019 and play their hearts out. F that tanking stuff. I, don't, I hate that term. Like, what? That's crazy. Like, tanking. Like, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't believe in that crap. I literally do not believe in that crap. So, and, like, for them to sit back and tank. I'm like seeing all these quarterback, seeing all these quarterback reports, and like we went, we went back and forth about this um, Jim Caldwell thing. This whole this this the past couple of days. Look, to be honest with you, just to cover this real fast. T- sorry to get off t- subject real quick. It's, it's this is the third time. This is the third time off the top of my head that I have seen and I have seen the Miami Dolphins bought somebody in to advise. Like and that advising thing, to be honest with you, as far as what I have seen so far, has not has not looked too well. What has Dan Marino done for us as far as him coming in and advising? What has Peyton Manning done for us as far as him advising? So for you to sit back and bring Jim Caldwell in there, you're basically telling me that Brian Flores is not the guy to get the job done. That's what you're basically telling me. That's literally what you're basically telling me. Now, as far as the whole Jim Caldwell thing, because I know as far as far as how the NFL goes, it goes by relationships. Like you saw how and uh, Adam Gase at brought in jay cutler adam gaze brought in brock osweiler all fa- all 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 co- all players that Ad- adam gaze actually sat back and coached now you think look at like this if jim caldwell is going to be some type of advisor like i said and to many of y'all in the comment section i strongly feel that he's going to try to whisper to try to push to get joe flacco or or tyrod taylor because they were all on the same the whole the same super bowl team they're all they're both on the same super all three of them on the same super bowl team so i I can i can see that as far as in in the near future as we get draw close to the end of the season towards free agency but if if like like some of y'all well almost half of y'all have said it at least one time look i'm looking this i want us to tank i want us to get us a top draft pick look here if you want us to tank i'm just being ironic i'm just being real with you you look at some of these records. You look at Joe Flacco's record. I'm surprised, but I looked at this record, 96 and 67. That's what Joe Flacco's record is. Tyrod Taylor's record is 35 and 26. Look at Brock Oswald. If you if, if you want to tank, if, we, if we're going to go that road, like I told you, I don't agree with it, but if we're going to go that road, you got Brock Oswald. If we decide to resign him back, he's 29 and 21. So if we was to sit back and go Ryan Tannehill, Tannehill is 42 and 46. 42 and 46. He's the best... The best possible chance for us to sit back and actually tank is you might as well just keep Ryan Tannehill if you want to tank. If you want to tank, I'm just saying Tannehill's the one with the, with the negative record, the sub the sub 500 record. Mark Jefferson. So everybody's pushing to get rid of him, but if that's the road y'all want to go and sit back and tank, you might as well keep keep Tannehill. I hear people say they want to restructure his contract. Hey, it doesn't stop him from earning his salary. He still gets his salary. He may not get most of it in the 2019 season, but he'll get the rest of it in 2020. I believe 2020 is the last year of his contract. So there's no restructuring. You can either take a pay cut or you cut him. That's the only that's the only possible thing I can think of on top of my head that you could possibly do with Ryan Tannehill unless you trade him. That's it. Period. Now, 
again i strongly do not agree with the whole tanking thing because there, there's negatives to this there is negatives like I, the whole the whole reason for the tanking because the mommy dogs are trying to get the uh, the quarterback out of is it alabama the tua tua tago viola that's how you pronounce that i hope i pronounced that right i've been practicing that joint on the way home from work today but if that is the case how do you know he's going to be a franchise quarterback that's that's flag number one flag number two is we have talent on this team there is talent on this team the longer that you sit back and procrastinate and and try to prevent from winning games the more chance these these talented players that we have on this team are going to want to walk out the door so i don't see, again i don't see the reason why we're taking and most importantly the 2019 season we play the nfc east my girl is a dallas cowboys fan i'm trying to go out and watch that miami dolphins game against the, Chicago, against the dallas cowboys regardless if it's in dallas or regardless if it's in miami but i'm trying to sit back and watch that game and y'all can now sit back and put up an embarrassing performance when i sit back and pay my money to get on a plane to pay my money to sit back and get paid for a uh, miami dolphins ticket for y'all to get your ass whooped that's just not what's happening but let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know what it is. If you enjoy the content, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. This is a great one, DeVore. I'm up out of here.